Hi, this is an overview of the point one three release of the log file navigator, a log file viewer for the terminal. The major change in this release is a new prompt that replaces the old read line based one with the main feature of this prompt being multi line support. I'm going to demonstrate that now with the comment command. If you're not familiar, you can add comments to log messages using the comment command. So as I tap complete comment here, it switches to multi-line mode. And now I can write text in with markdown syntax. So I can say, hello world. And then the syntax itself is highlighted, so it turns bold. And then we also get a preview of what the rendered version is going to look like. You can do things like add lists. And those show up as well. And then to accept the content, I press Control X. If I wanted to cancel, I can press Escape. And now the comment shows up here next to the, underneath the log message. And when, if I were to quit and restart, the comment would be restored. A related fe new feature is that log messages have permalinks that can be used to jump to a particular message. You can find the permalink in the uh, parser details. So you press P and now there's a new line here. It says permalink. So if I click on that, I can press C and that will copy the permalink. And now if I wanted to refer to that line, I can come down to my comment here. I can press comment again. And notice that the comment text is pre-filled with what was already there. And then I can do add a link, a markdown style link. This message caused a problem. Press return and accept it. And now I get a link here. And if I click on that link, it will jump to the message where I was. And if I want to go back, I can press Control O, and that will return me to the message where the link was. Of course, one of the main uses for multi-line prompt is for writing more complex SQL queries. Previously, it was easy to run out of room in the old prompt, but now you can start writing out a prompt. And if you need more space, you can press Control L and it will reformat the query and switch to multi-line mode. So I'll do a query on the axis log. And then I'm going to press Control L and then the uh, LNAV reformatted it, pretty printed it, and now I can go through and add my own um, extra conditions and whatever, long line greater than 2000, and press return, and then control X to run the query, and now we can, uh, uh, it runs. If the query gets really complex, you can, um, Use Control O, and that will save the contents of the prompts to a file and open it in VS Code. I use VS Code because there is an extension for writing LNAV scripts. Um, the file is named save prompt.lnav, and then if you wanted to, you can run that using the pipe prompt. One other nice feature of the new prompt is automatically suggesting the next word in the sentence when writing a regular expression. So I was, if I was searching for received packet from, I can do forward slash type REC. I can tab complete the received, and then I'll press space. And now if you see here, it suggests the packet. And I can do packet in that space. And then I get from, and I can hit space again and return. So it looks through the what's displayed and automatically found the matching lines and suggested based on that. One last feature I'd like to mention is the time column. Since timestamps and log levels can take up quite a bit of space and are located in different parts 
of the message in different formats, having a single column that combines both can make things easier to read. So here I have syslog and an access log, and the access log timestamps are over here on the further in, and the syslog timestamps are on the left. So this feature is currently disabled by default. You have to use a config command to turn it on. Config and then time column. And then there's a few different options. So I'm going to turn it on. Um, and now when I scroll right, instead of scrolling right the whole screen, it will switch. It'll turn on the time column. So here we have the timestamp. And this is um, reduced to whatever the during the hours and minutes and seconds. And if there's more precision, like millisecond, microsecond, it will show that. But since both syslog and access log only have second precision, that's what's shown. And then next to it, we have the log level as a boxed letter icon. So here, this is an error, E, error, I, info, things like that. Um, and then if I scroll right again, that's when I actually you know, move right in the log message. If I want to <clears throat> go back to the full message, I can press left and scroll left, and it'll go back to what it usually is. Um, if I want the time column on all the time, I can use the default option for um, the time column setting. So like that. And now whenever I start up, it, the time column will always be on. There are more changes that I'm not going to go cover in here. Uh, you can read about them in the news file. Thanks for your time, and I hope you have a good day.